Okay, so now I'm going to do um, question number three, part B, from S1, January 2019, International A Level. And this is about normal distribution. Okay, so now, in the tournament, women boxers who weigh less than 51 kilograms are classified as lightweight. Ren weighs 49 kilograms and she has a match against another randomly selected lightweight woman boxer. Find the probability that Ren weighs less than the other boxer. Okay, so let's get our normal distribution curve. Just drawn a bit so we can see what's going on here. So something like this. Not that good, but anyway. Move that so it's right in the middle. Okay, now, what we're told us is well, we know that the the mean is 64 kilograms okay that's the mean okay and we're told that women boxers who weigh less than 51 kilograms are lightweight so just say 51 kilograms is here okay say that's 51 kilograms so women who weigh less than 51 kilograms are lightweight and ren she weighs 49 kilograms let's say 49 is here it's not really much to scale but no problem say that's 49 kilograms Okay, so Ren weighs 49 kilograms and she has a match against another randomly selected lightweight boxer. So we're only concerned with this part of the, um, with this part of the curve here. We're only concerned with this section here. The rest of it we don't care about because we're only, she's only being selected from the lightweight category. Okay, so the, the, person she's boxing is a lightweight boxer so cannot be more than 51 kilograms has to be uh, less than 51 kilograms okay so this is like the sample space okay so we got to find the probability that Reynold weighs less than the other boxer now the probability that she weighs less than the other boxer now she weighs 49 kilograms okay so basically if she weighs less than the other boxer okay then that's going to be in this category here the probability that she weighs less than the other boxer okay so that means we're looking for this area over here this is the area okay that's the probability that she'll weigh less than the other boxer the other boxer okay could be 51 kilograms or less she's 49 kilograms so if the other boxer weighs 49 up to 51. If the other boxer is in this area here in terms of their weight, then Ren will, lay le weigh, Ren, Ren will weigh less than her. Okay, so we need to find this probability here. That's what we need to find. Okay, that's what we have to find. What is that, what is that area here? Okay, because if she weighs less than the other boxer, then the other boxer's weight one must be between 49 and 51. Okay, can't be more than 51 because they won't be lightweight. Okay, so basically what we need to do is we need to find the probability that the weight of uh, the other boxer is between 49 and 51. And we need to d divide that by the probability that the weight is less than 51. Why do we have to divide it by that? Because we're only considering this as our sample space. We don't have the whole thing as a sample space. If we left it as just this, it would be the probability that the other boxer weighs this between this much out of all the categories of boxes. But we're only dealing with lightweight boxes because she has a match against another randomly selected lightweight boxes. So they're selecting from the, la the, the lightweight boxes only. So that's why you have to divide it by the probability of the weight is less than 51. And that's the answer from part A. Okay, this is actually the answer to part A. So whatever we get for this, we have to divide it by the answer to part A. And the answer to part A, which is 0 0.0516. Okay, so now, how do we find this area here? Now, what we, what we know is, we can work out what these Z values are. Okay, the Z values. Okay, now, so let's look at this one. Let's look at the probability that the weight is between 49 and 51. Whoops, 49 and 51. Okay, in terms of Z, we can say that's the probability that you've got 49 minus the mean over the standard deviation, which was 8, Oops, is less than, now we've got that in terms of the Z, is less than Z 
and you got 51 minus 64 divided by 8 okay so in terms of z that's going to be the probability let's work at those you got 49 minus 64 over 8 which gives you minus 1.875 minus 1.875 and the other one is the same as we got earlier which is 1.625 so minus 1.625 0.625 and what you'll notice is if I convert those so that's that's basically minus 1.875 and this one is minus 1.625 if I think about those on this side if this is symmetrical I'll get the same band over here the same band of values over here but they will be positive and that will help us because our table only deals with positive so this is like one point oops this is like 1.825, 1.875, sorry. And this is like 1.625. So that area and that area are the same. So if I find the probability that Z is less than 1.875, I'll find the area all the way back here. If I subtract from it the area that Z is less than 1.625, I'll find all the area behind there. And I'm left with this area here. So this is the same area as the probability that Z is less than 1.875 minus the probability that Z is less than 1.625. Okay, so that gives you what? Let's go to our table. Okay, 1.875, 1.875, that's 1.88. Let's just make sure 1.875, 1.88, I'll be 1.63. Okay, so 1.88, let's go to 1.88. 1.88 is over here. That Z equals 1.88. Okay, just put it over here. Yep. That's Z equals 1.88. So that's going to give you one zero point nine six. 99 0.9699 and you got to take away from that the probability that z is less than 1.63 okay it's 1.63 um i have to go up a bit i think 1.63 is over there 0 0.9484 in fact we got that earlier didn't we we got that earlier so one, what was it 0 0.9484 yes and that 0 0.9484 we just put it over here okay so we have 0 0.9484 9484 and that gives us 0 0.9699 minus 0 0.9 Four, eight, four. Let me just make sure of that. Yep, and that gives us zero point zero two one five. Zero two one five, and then we have to divide that by the answer to part A. So we take the answer to part A, which is zero point zero five one six. So what we need is zero point. So zero point two one. Sorry. 0.0215 so you have 0.0215 divided by 0.0516 and that gives us an answer divided by 0.0516 and that gives us 0 0.416 0 0.416 0 0.417 417 as our answer to 3SF and there we have the answer to this part B women boxes who weigh more than H kilograms are classified as heavyweight 
given that 10% of the women boxers in the tournament are classified as heavyweights, find the value of H. Well, here we have our bell curve. So the heavyweights are classified as ones that weigh more than H. Let's call this H here. And 10% of the boxes are heavier than that. So what we need to do is, um, we know that the probability that Z is greater than this value here, okay, is equal to, let's call it A, is equal to 0 0.1, all right? So let's see what this value is in terms of Z. Okay, so what we go, do is we go to our table. Now, because you have a, a nice, easy um, area of 0 0.1, we can look at this, we can look at the uh, table on, at the bottom of the, the, the percentage points of the normal distribution when you have the actual probability and then the Z values in the second column. So we want the probability of 0 0.1, 10%. That's the probability of 0 0.1. Okay, so what we can say here is, let me see if it, if it copied it. Let's get, make sure it copies it. And uh, what we can say, therefore, is the probability. Okay, the Z value. Okay, um, for which the probability to the to the right of it is one ten percent is one point two eight one six. So this is the Z value here is one point two eight one six. Okay, one point two eight one six. That's the Z value here, 816. So we want to find what the actual value is. So basically, we know that we will, we know that H minus the mean over the standard deviation, in this case, has to be 1.2816. It's a positive value this is up to the right of the mean. So H minus the mean, which was 64, make that look more like a sigma, over the standard deviation, which was 8, is equal to 1.2816. So there, therefore we can find what H is. So you just do H is equal to eight times 1.2816 plus 64. Okay, so you have 1.2816 times eight, and add that to 64, and that gives you 74.258 74 74.258 2528 actually so you can say that's 74.3 kilograms so someone who weighs 74.3 kilograms will therefore be classified as a heavyweight okay and there we have the answer to part c